you so much for joining me today. I'm doing a video that I've been dying to do for a while, which is talking about most of the big um, companies that do liquid lipsticks and how the formula is. So I'm not really doing color swatches because I have so many videos now on lip swatches, like um, lipstick swatches on uh, colors that are really good for the fall for me and summer. I even have one for spring, so I will link those down below. That's where you guys can see the swatches on my lips, but I wanted to talk mostly about formula and which of these ones have really good formulas and why they're so good. So right now I am wearing Tool, which is by ColourPop. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the ColourPop ones first. So I got four of them. One of them, I don't know where it is. I think that was the one that I was wearing in my last video, which was Beeper, which is a very nice nudie sort of color. But this is the packaging of ColourPop, which I think is really nice. It's really simple. It looks fun and feminine and girly, and I would never think it's a $6 product, which is how much these are, so that's crazy. Now, in terms of formula, this one is Stingray that I am... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do Tool for you. So, this one is Tool, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you. And what I find about this formula is, is that, one, it takes much longer to dry than most other liquid lipsticks and the wand is very hard. So it definitely does not feel like, you know, a luxurious product or anything like that, but that's fine because the price point is amazing and they have awesome, awesome colors. So that is what it looks like. It's also pretty difficult to take off. If you guys can see how my hand has been stained here, I was swatching some of these yesterday and I washed my hands, I took it off with makeup remover and it just wasn't coming off. So I think it's a good consistency. My only issue is that I do end up getting that awful white line on the inside sometimes with the lighter colors so that's the one thing but these are six dollars so super affordable and they have an awesome awesome product um color range for you so that is again what they look like next i'm going to show you dose of colors this one i have to say i love the packaging i think it's very chic i like the whole white with the little clear part on top that you guys can see I like the fact that you can see the product here. It is frosted. It is like a frosted plastic bottle. And I like how small it is. So I'm a huge fan of things that are smaller like this as opposed to a, like something that looks really large. And it does have the same amount of product as all the other lip lipsticks do. So that being said, one big difference about this is the wand shape. If you guys can tell, it is tilted, which I love because you just put that flat side on your lips and you can maneuver really well. Um... The wand also does feel softer, like the bristles, this is a doe foot applicator, but the, and all doe foot applicators do have bristles, but the bristles on this one do feel nicer, they're not as stiff, and therefore they don't feel like harsh on your lips. Um, the formula of this is not as watery as the ColourPop, I can't say that's like super super watery, but it's more watery than this. I've swatched this and as you guys can see, it is a thicker formula. This one I just find... I mean, this formula I'm obsessed with. I think it just lasts all day long, light colors or dark colors. You don't end up swallowing it up and it doesn't end up leaving your lips. So I'm a huge fan of this one. I, this is one of the lipsticks that I wear when I know I need to last, that it, that it needs to last all day long. So this is a really good one for that. And this is called Bury Me, which you guys have seen before in a bunch of my Instagram pictures, as well as I've done a lipstick uh, swatch video with this one as well. So again, that's what it looks like. It also, it does take longer to dry also, and I do notice with both of the colors that I have in this formula that the colors end up looking very different once it's dry on your lips than versus when you're swatching it or once you first put it on. Like this one, when I first put it on, it's like way too pink for me and I'm not like a big pink girl, so I have to wait for it to dry and like really set in to see the, the final color and that's when I really like it. Um, I will link the price of this right up here. Next, I have a Gerard Cosmetics um, liquid lipstick as well. The, f the packaging of this, I can't say I particularly like it. I think the ColourPop packaging looks better even though it is cheaper. So this one, I don't know, I feel like it just looks really cheap. But I do like that it's very skinny. It's, um, it's skinnier than the ColourPop one. So it does look a little bit nicer and smaller in that sense. You open it up and here is a doe foot applicator as well. Um... When you put it on, the formula of this is very thick. It is extremely thick. If you guys can see right here, almost looks like paint. And I find that on your lips, it doesn't dry to a fully 
matte finish that's uncomfortable to wear. It feels very malleable on your lips as well. I think that the ColourPop ones are the most drying. Um, this one is dry too, but it doesn't feel like it's dry, but it looks super dry. This one I feel like is the most moisturizing out of all the ones that I have tried. And it does look like a thicker sort of lacquer. It's not, um, it's not watery at all. So this one does last all day. It was very hard for me to take off. So I would assume all of their other colors look the same and last the same on the lips. Next, we have Kat Von D. I love this packaging. I love the formula. The packaging is super sleek, super thin, which I find really attractive. And you take it out and here is your wand. Upon application, I would say this is thinner than the Gerard Cosmetics one, but thicker than the Dose of Colors as well as ColourPop also. The other thing about this is that I find this to be more sheer than the other ones because you do have to put on, I would say, two layers of this to get um, like full coverage on this liquid lipstick as well as the, the darker ones as well. Even with the darker ones that I have, I find that it is much more see-through than other formulas. Um, you know, than other formulas that are being offered right now. So if you guys look at the swatch, maybe you can tell like down here it's much more see-through in the center, it's much more see-through up here is when it's darker. Um, however, I find their colors to be really amazing um, for my skin tone. I love Lolita, I love Vampira, so those are really great colors. The other ones are a little bit different and kind of offbeat, which is very much like Kat Von D, like herself and her product, so it goes along with that range. Um, I do find this one doesn't last very long. Lolita, I find like it's very nude on me and it ends up coming off pretty soon after I put it on. And it does, and it doesn't transfer, none of these do. But I do feel like I end up swallowing it up very, very soon after. So I don't think it sticks onto your lips the way that many of the other ones do. Next, I have Lime Crime. And this one is Cashmere, which was a huge, huge, hugely popular product early um, in 2015 that people were just going nuts for. So this is cashmere. It's very small packaging, by the way. This is also, I would say, Gerard Cosmetics. Yeah, it's actually smaller than Gerard Cosmetics, um, if you guys can see. This is also, I wouldn't expect this to look like anything expensive, but the price point is expensive. It is in the 20s, just like most of the other ones. So I think with that being said, the packaging could have looked much nicer than it does. Um, coming out, the doe foot applicator here is the smallest out of all of them. If you guys can see, it's really small. It's also at a much, it's a more noticeable angle than the other ones as well, um, but less than the dose of colors one. Putting this on, I find this one to be super thin to put on. It also has a scent, which the other ones do not, and I can't say I like the scent. Um, this one can give you that line on the inside as well. And I do end up eating this up pretty often and easily because it is very thin, as you guys can see. But while it's thin, this one, interestingly enough, does not require two layers. Like, if I just swatched this one time, and it is super pigmented, much more than the Kat Von D. So, it's interesting. It's thin, but it is pigmented, so you don't require layers and layers of this. I find this very comfortable to wear as well. Also, with the Kat Von D, I find this super comfortable to wear. I know a lot of people say that these liquid lipsticks are really difficult to wear and they feel like chalk on your lips. I don't find that at all. I find them pretty comfortable. Then my very last one is my Stila one. This is Amore. And I've only tried this one by Stila. I have tried out the others in store, but I don't own them. Um, with the packaging, I think it looks um, like the most expensive one out of all of them. To me, whenever you have plastic or glass like this, it has the little bottom where you can see it. It has that test tube sort of look. Um, with a black top, it just looks more expensive. But I think it looks far more expensive than Kat Von D. Um, when you open it, this has a very different formula and very different wand. This wand is much more flat than the other ones, as you guys can tell. Um, upon application, you'll feel that the product is very moussey. It doesn't feel um, like a liquid. It feels like a much more mousse texture. Like, remember when Maybelline, maybe this lab, I don't know. Maybelline was doing that, like, dream matte mousse foundation type thing, and it was, like, that moussey texture. This is what this feels like as well. Here it is. And for some reason, it's not showing up super pigmented here. But when I put it on my lips, it is incredibly pigmented. Um, I find this to be the most luxurious feeling out of all of them as well. The formula of this is the best out of all of these liquid lipsticks by far. 
It lasts a very long time, it's very comfortable to wear and it just looks amazing. So I think that if this had a better product or a better color range, I would have only gone for this company. But unfortunately their color range just does not appeal to me. They have like one or two that I would use, but besides that, none. ColourPop definitely has the broadest uh, color range for people um, in terms of what you might find attractive and what you would like. They have the most options for you. Kat Von D, I, like an awesome, awesome color, awesome formula, but again, their color range also I don't think would appeal to as many people because they have some of like the crazier colors, which I don't personally wear myself. Dose of Colors, very small product range. You can't test this out in stores. So it's a little bit difficult to find and to, uh, to, to figure out for yourself if you really like it before you want to buy it, but the staying power of this is amazing. I think it's an awesome formula. And the Gerard Cosmetics one is just super comfortable to wear, just like the Stila one. I would say that the Stila is the most comfortable to wear. And then I would say the Gerard Cosmetics is your next most comfortable wear out of all of these. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope this helped you in your liquid lipstick search. If you have any questions, don't, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Post your comments down below. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you like this. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.